Hi, it's Randy Smith here from internetmarketingapprentice.com and just a quick short video to demonstrate part of our new IMA graphic creator that is a free tool for Internet Market Apprentice members. Um, it's a tool that's going to save you fortunes not having to go and pay individually for graphics that you want creating. The one I'm about to demonstrate is the headline creator and to use that simply make sure that button is pressed at the bottom there and click next step. That then brings up the editable headline, which is this part here, this part here, and this part here. So we've got the pre-head, the main headline, and the subhead. And it explains those down this column there. And then we show you the copy doodle add-ons, the color and text effects, and the headline styles before saving the graphic. Style-wise, just to give you a quick example with what's already on the page, that's style 1, style 2, three, four, five, and six. So you've got a few different font styles that you could quite easily put on. So, but uh, let's give some examples and do one while we're playing. So attention all struggling internet marketers. So attention, uh, let's have a look. People who'd like to save on graphics. Creation. Oops. Um, finally, you can create graphics instantly to look uh, more professional with your web. Sites. Um, to is really cool. So there's a typical headline that we might say we want. Now we've got choices here with the doodles. We could highlight certain parts, so this tool is really cut well. Messed up on the really there, didn't we? Or oh, attention, people, graphics creation. Finally, uh, create graphics instantly to look far more professional with your websites. This tool is really cool, and we need to get rid of the extra R in there. Oops not both of them and what else I do wrong there yes I didn't capitalize the P so that was the highlight we can go a quick underline in fact that looks better than the highlight doesn't it so to take the highlight off we just click on the tick and we could say circle it I could have put this cool tool is really cool and put a circle around that in fact then we can move that highlight create graphics instantly how's that does that look good drawn arrows we could move that around uh, finally if you wanted the arrow on <laughs> I'm not suggesting you use every doodle going but you can move the doodles around place them and we can change the color of those doodles as you'll see in a moment um, pre head at the moment is in gray we could say we want that in a darker black color or we could have that in a blue or just basically slide around have a look see how it looks best and pick a color so you could match it in with your site or you could just make it look good the red on the headline I quite like but you might decide it's too much so you want a blue um, or you might be one of these that wants a, a color that matches in with the main theme of your website so let's just go for a, an orangey colour for the time being, just to show that it can be done. And the PS copy, we've got that in blue at the moment. We could go for matching sites again, you know, or really contrast. How is that? Orange and purple. That makes it stand out, doesn't it? And um, so changing the colour and the doodles as well. Obviously, we've got black at the moment, but we might want to mark that in a big red, so it catches the eye. So, for example, 
just a silly little thing done but there's a graphical headline all we need to do need to do is get rid of this box that always opens when I'm doing videos uh, click on save graphic as JPEG that will open and give us the option of saving that file and it will call it snapshot there's the box snapshot.jpg. okay so we save that file click OK and that file saved now if you bear with me a second I'll just pop into my downloads folder downloads and find snapshot.jpg there we are open that with oops open with paint everybody's got paint you don't need photoshop or anything fancy like that um, I don't need to open it with paint actually um, but just go up there and save as JPEG and you could rename it there alternatively having found it simply click once highlight it and change the name of it headline so now we've got headline.jpg and that could be then inserted into your web page on your site and that's as simple as it is um, on the paint window if you did want to make any additional changes you could do so by using just paint okay and that's as simple as it is end of this short video thanks very much for watching this is Randy from internetmarketingapprentice.com signing off